Nachos. Happy Monday. So today is Alondra's very first day of homeschool during the whole school cancellation. This is technically the first week that her school was canceled. Last week she didn't have any school because she was on spring break. But as of right now, anyways, and we did get another email last night, Sunday night, and they did say that, um, oh, that's cute. Well, break time is over. Alondra is back doing her schoolwork. Um, Edom ended up calling me because he is getting some stuff to finish the Rocking Unicorn. So anyways, what I was trying to say is that today is the first day of homeschooling and Earlier you saw a clip of her like watching YouTube and like counting. Those are songs that she does every morning at uh, pre-K. So I will link after them. The cafeteria. After what? The cafeteria. Oh, after you go to the cafeteria, you do those songs, right? So I'll link those songs down below for you guys because they are on YouTube. And it's really cool because every week her pre-K teacher sends out a newsletter and they talk about what they're learning in school, what we can do to like continue the learning, and she always puts all of the YouTube videos that they watch during class. So, I'll link them for you guys if you wanna do them with your kiddos. I have a feeling everybody is homeschooling. Comment down below, I'm not 100% sure, but I assume schools all across the US are canceled as of right now. Alondra goes back to school April 6th as of right now, um, but also, if your school is canceled, comment down below, when do your kiddos go back to school? I feel like Alondra's going back to school pretty early. I'm pretty sure, I know in California, well it was, I think they don't go back to school till like April 17th or April 20th, because my nieces and nephews are in Cali. So, I don't know, I just feel like Alondra going back to school April 6th seems pretty early, but hopefully that's a positive. And like I said, I don't know if it'll get pushed out further, but we shall see. But anyways, while school is canceled, we will be doing some homeschool at home just Monday through Friday. And typically when she goes to pre-K anyway, she only goes for three hours and like five minutes. So it's not gonna be an all day thing. I'm not gonna be a drill sergeant about it. I probably won't even do three hours a day. Um, her school did send us an email saying they don't want us to be doing school all day, that we should just take this time to do a lot of family time. But if we can do school work, that would be good too. So. Um, and her teachers, the school, I mean, they probably will send us something, but as of right now, they haven't sent anything for us to do, but I have a ton of workbooks. I have the workbook that she is doing now, which I love. She's actually finished this workbook already, and she really liked it that I bought it again for her because she asked me to, but this one is from the Dollar Tree, and it's called Morning Starters, and this is the pre-K edition. Yeah. So they write their name at the top, they circle the like weather that it's it is. Hot. Yep, it's hot. Well, wait, is it hot outside? I don't know. Uh, me either, but anyways, they okay. circle the weather and then they have the capital D lowercase, they color that and then they have to circle, you know, the letter. Then they trace and then they write and then they have different activities at the bottom. So you can see here if this will focus. So you can see like this activity is obviously different than this one. I really, really like these. And I mean, these are only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. So love that. She's gonna be doing E and then she's gonna, and I mean, she's done this like a lot. So she's already done the G, but she hasn't done F. So I'm gonna have her stop at F. Um, and then we're gonna move on to a different workbook. But then I have these ones as well. So I got this one from the Target Dollar One Spot. I don't know if they still have these, but I mean, I see them randomly throughout the year. I don't love their Alphabet one. I like the Dollar Tree one more, but I still have it anyways. But the numbers one from Target, I really like. And then this one here, the Minnie Mouse one, it is from the Dollar Tree. I like this one as well. It's a little bit different with like, um, well, letter like recognition, one which one, the Minnie Mouse one? I like this. Yeah, I really like this one. So she has this one, and then this one is to like, um, like sounds. So I really like this as well, and this is from the Dollar Tree. And then these two here my mom sent to us, I think around, I don't remember. I don't know, but she did mail them to us. I don't know how much she paid for them, but there's this one where you kind of like write your own story, which might be a little too old for her. Well, it does say five plus. Well, we'll see, we haven't used it yet. Oh, and then we also have the 
Elsa okay. one, which is like learn like and trace. And so I did print these a couple days ago. I did save these in my stories. So if you go to my Instagram and then click on the quarantine highlights, you'll be able to see these. So if you just hold it down, like on like the, the story part or the picture part, screenshot it and then you can print it. But at school, they're practicing cutting and gluing things down. So I printed a bunch of activities for her. Actually, this one is with dice, just to switch it up. But I printed a bunch of activities that she can cut and paste. So that's what I wanted to do so we can work on that. So we'll probably do one or two of these today as well. And we also have ABC Mouse. So with ABC Mouse, I'll probably have her do like two lessons on that. Every day I wanna do something different. So I don't wanna do the same workbook every day. I wanna change out workbooks. ABC Mouse we won't do every day either because I don't want her to get bored. And then I also plan on doing board games with her as well because board games I do think are educational. You have to count and sometimes colors, like we have Candyland, which is colors, and then that is counting as well. So I have a bunch of different things that I do plan on doing and I'm not gonna say like every day has to be this amount of hours, it's just, Whatever I have planned is what we'll do and however long it takes us is how long it takes us. So anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and get back to this because I can tell I am distracting her with talking and I don't wanna do that. Alrighty, we are all done for homeschool for the day. High five, baby. You did really, really, Wait, really I good. Wait, I a harder one. Oh, a harder one? Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that hurt. No, harder, harder. Harder? Okay. Oh, that was a good one. Harder? Oh my gosh. You little harder. Oh, okay. Woof. You are too strong for me, but you did really good. I'm really proud of you. So it's 11.04 and we started at 9.24. Again, I am not going to be super strict or crazy about it. I'm not trying to do it all day. I'm literally just gonna do, I just wanna do a few activities. Do you know what I'm saying? So we finished the work sheets from here. She ended up doing, I think three. So yeah, she did D, E, and F. And then with the B one, she all she needed to do was trace, cause she did like the top part, I don't know how long ago. But I, I wanted her to finish the worksheet since it was half done, so she just, finished the bottom half that she never ended up finishing. And then she did D, E, and F. So she did three of those worksheets. She did the songs, there was like five of them. And then she did this one where she traced the alphabet and then she cut the letters that were missing and then she glued them and she did it perfectly. And then she did dab the uppercase. So we have stamps and she, did you write your name? Yeah, she wrote her name at the top. And then it's just uh, dabbing all of the uppercase B's. And that was all that we did. So like I said, every day we will do something different. So tomorrow I might have her do um, some ABC mouse, maybe two lessons on there. And then I'll probably also do a board game with her. So that way every day it's a little bit educational and a little bit different. So anyways, that is what we're doing. Not sticking to a schedule or routine. It's just Monday through Friday, I wanna do some stuff. And also too, Alondra really does enjoy doing this. So definitely comment down below with what you guys are doing with your kiddos. Are you guys doing schoolwork or are you just enjoying that quality family time? I'm definitely gonna be doing a mix of both. But anyways, Idamis is still not home. Oh, I just got a text. Oh, he's on his way right now. So he did end up, like I said, did I say this earlier, going to Home Depot? But um, since Home Depot is right by Costco, he ended up stopping at Costco because last night I mentioned hot dogs and he was like, ooh, I'm craving hot dogs. So he ended up stopping at Costco getting hot dogs and mini pizzas because Alondra said that she really wanted pizza for lunch today and I don't know how we forgot frozen pizza, but somehow we did, because you guys know, we're pizza fiends. Anyways, he is finally on his way. I, I hope he didn't get anything else at Costco, because y'all know my husband loses his mind at Costco. But anyways, so I think now, because honestly, it's not even 11.30 and we got school stuff done, and my plan with me is already live for today, so I literally have nothing to do. Alondra is playing Barbies in her room. So I think I'm just gonna chillax, watch some YouTube videos. Edom is, when he gets home, he's gonna start working on the unicorn rocker. And speaking of the devil, he is calling me. Oh, look at you. I'm so excited. Are you excited? Oh, is that your happy dance? Show me your happy dance. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Daddy, show me your happy dance. Ooh, 
we got a little wiggle, Gorda, a little wiggle. Now he's just measuring to see, well, he already measured, but to do the, yeah, the posts. Holy crap, Ola, we have a mess. You guys should see inside our house. Of course, our floors are covered in sawdust and just dirt, but that is life, right? But Alondra and I, we are over here playing some baseball together, having some outside activities. Yeah, Alondra loves playing baseball, huh? But right now, there's no activities, so we are just out here putting on the tee, having some fun. Woo, good job! goodness do y'all see this meal that my man threw down I am so excited so we have steak filet mignon which is my favorite that is the only steak that's that they favorite. had that's my favorite too that's your favorite too that's the only steak meat they had in Costco so score for me got loaded baked potatoes here since we forgot yesterday some asparagus with garlic and bacon and then, oh, I forgot the chimichurri sauce. How in the world could I forget that? So I got me some chimichurri sauce. Well, you put it on. Adam made it. Yeah, you Daddy put it on made it. Steak. Oh yeah, you put it on steak. You want some on yours? Yeah. <laughs> and Alondra is having mashed potatoes and steak. Mm. Oh my gosh, this looks so good. No, I like Dang, it. honey, I love you. We're gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because, yeah, well, it's nighttime. There's Daddy. <laughs> yeah, Daddy's gotta go to bed because he goes to work tomorrow. So, which is crazy. He has to actually have a um a paper to so like if he gets pulled over to show that he has to go to work what is it called the type of paper essential movement, essential movement. or something like that oh you have this. i don't know it's it's something it's like just basically to show proof that he needs to be out because he's going to work which is so crazy that that's what it's gotten to and there's a chance that we will be on I don't know what it's called. It's not called lockdown, but essentially it's Stay lockdown. At Stay at home. That's what Texas is calling it anyways. Um, but yeah, so we will lockdown find... Lockdown today at home. Yeah, we will find that out tomorrow, which basically means no going out unless you're going to work, uh, medical, or buying groceries. Like, that's it. So... Um, I think that's good though, but I guess we'll see what happens tomorrow. But anyways, gonna end the vlog here. So I hope you guys did enjoy today's vlog. Hey, little helper, are you gonna help me? Oh uh, yeah. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Please get thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye, muchachos.